to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna be doing a huge, huge, huge Black Friday clothing haul. might have noticed that in the last couple of weeks or months I have massively changed my style game up on Instagram. I feel like I just finally found some fashion sense within me and finally I've got a bunch of like really nice clothes that I love. Today I am going to be doing a huge misguided haul but this is going to be a bit of a different haul because this video is going to be packed with hundreds, yes hundreds, of discount codes. All the way through this video there is going to be hundreds of discount codes popping up on the screen but each discount code only works once. The discount Discount of the code will be revealed at checkout, but it will range from between 10% all the way up to 90%. Off. So whilst I'm doing this haul and showing you all of the clothes, you need to keep an eye out and you need to try all these codes because you guys are going to be saving some serious, serious money. I hope you enjoy. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, let's get started. I'm not going to lie, there's going to be absolutely no order to this video. I have just gotten all of the clothes out of the box and this is going to be a huge haul, like I've easily got over 20 items here. And I'm just going to kind of pull one by one, so sorry there's not going to be any particular order, but hopefully that will make it a little bit more fun. You've got no idea what's coming up next. Of course as well, this is a try on haul, so I will be trying on all of the different items for you so you can see what they look like on. First of all, we're starting off with some jeans. So these are the high-waisted slash rip straight leg jeans. These are the light blue ones and I really wanted some straight leg jeans. I really struggle to find jeans that fit me nicely but misguided ones always seem to pull through. I don't actually own any other straight leg jeans so these are the first pair that I've got. I love the bottom because they're just like a ripped hem and I love that look. And then like I said they've got rips. This one's got one rip on the knee. This one's got two here. The waistband fits me perfectly. They fit really nicely around the bum as well and basically I just love any misguided jeans. Straight leg jeans are really in at the moment as well and I love blue jeans. I feel like I was saying in a video not that long ago that I I never used to like blue jeans and now all I wear is blue jeans. I've got this other pair of jeans which I am obsessed with. So these again are like a mum style jean and you've got half of them in white and half of them in black. I think these are so so cool. So at the bottom it's just like a normal hem but I tend to roll mine up a little bit. You've got two back pockets and then the colours are like opposing on each side. So on the white side you've got a black pocket and then on the black side you've got a white pocket. Again the fit of these is amazing. It's just a normal style straight leg jean. I would make maybe size up if you want the more baggy look because these do fit me quite snug and these are like my exact size but I love them. I've wanted some different coloured jeans for so long and I think they're so fun. Like you can just pair them with a basic top and it looks like you've really tried with your outfit. I lie, maybe there will be some order to this video because I've actually got all my other trousers. So here I have got some tailored cigarette trousers. These are like a sage green colour which by the way I'm loving at this time of year. I've got a lot of this colour in my wardrobe at the moment and I think it looks really nice. I love these because they're not too fitted and I much prefer baggy fitting trousers and these are literally them. They fit really nicely around my bum. They give me a nice little shape and then you've just got the zip up the front here. So I just love these. They're basic cigarette trousers. If you're looking for some basic trousers that aren't like jeans, I would massively recommend these. Then we have got a pair of joggers and I love misguided joggers. I go on about them all the time. I live in them. So these are the grey ones. These are the oversized 90s joggers and you've got the elasticated waistband which is my favourite thing ever and then they're just super Super baggy like there's so much excess material around the top which just obviously adds to the coziness but I think it just looks more put together. Of course as well they do have pockets and they've got this like ribbed detailing here. Inside as well it is all fluffy and I just love these so much. Oh and the bottom as well is cuffed so if you're looking for a good pair of oversized joggers or the joggers that like every girl seems to wear on TikTok easy ones. Another trend at the moment seems to be faux leggings so of course I had to hop on the trend. These are the ones I've got. They are the basic faux black legging and it literally is that. It is a pair of leggings that are a faux leather. Super super tight fitting. They go on really easy. I tried on quite a few pairs of black faux leggings and they just don't sit right. Like some of them just really squeeze my bum in and it doesn't look nice and some of them just I'm not gonna lie like don't go high enough up but these fit so nicely and with a big pair of chunky boots which I'll be showing a little bit later and like a long jacket which I've also got they look really good. I seem to have so many jackets and blazers, I'm not gonna lie, I think I went a little bit overboard with them, but I just love different jackets. Like normally I stick to one jacket, but not this winter. Faux leather is so in, so I had to get a chocolate faux leather blazer. This is beautiful, the color and just the quality. I love it so much. You've got the button here, let me just undo it so you guys can get the full effect. You've got the long sleeves, you've got the pockets here that aren't actually pockets, they just look like pockets. You can roll the sleeves up, the back just got the line down, 
down it. The quality is so thick and so good that I feel like I could go out in this just like over a jumper or the trend at the moment is people wearing it over hoodies and it looks really good. Wearing this with some leggings as well and boots is gonna look amazing. And I love the color. I do have another blazer. This one is a black faux leather blazer. It's pretty much the exact same. This one is not as structured. The other one was super structured and fitted, whereas this one's a little bit more relaxed. It kind of depends what look you want to go for. I like to switch it up. I like it to sometimes look really tailored and fitted, and then other times I just want to go for a bit more of a cash look. This one is beautiful. It's got like the double buttons over it, and then you've just got the collar down here. Again, you've got the pockets, but these are actually pockets on this one. They like fold over, and it's just a really nice blazer. I love how it looks with a black dress. This dress I have on here, is actually from misguided it is a knitted high neck polo dress and i worn this with a faux leather blazer and it looks amazing with some of the boots i'm going to show you later it's just such a simple outfit but looks so effective another jacket now this is a very different jacket for me normally i just don't think i'd wear something like this but i saw it on the website and it immediately caught my eye so this is a another faux leather jacket i mean are we surprised? It's quilted though, and I love that. Like, it's more like a shacket type shape. So it doesn't really fit like a blade, it doesn't fit like a jacket, but it looks like a shirt. I'm not explaining or doing this very much justice, but it's really, really nice. It's got pockets, and then you've got the buttons all the way down. I'm really excited to wear this. Again, I feel like this can be paired with such a simple outfit, but because of the pattern, it looks like you've put in loads of effort. If you're looking for a jacket that's gonna be more of a staple piece, then I would opt for that one. I then got another black jacket, I'm pretty sure. Is this the last black jacket? This is the last black jacket. This one is a big oversized black faux leather jacket and I am obsessed with this. I used to hate leather jackets. I don't know what it was about them, but now I found like a big oversized one. I'm like, okay. I'm gonna live in it now. It's got black buttons and then all the detailing is in silver. I've actually wore this over on my Instagram already. So if you do wanna see me wear and style all these outfits as well as trying them on, go and follow my Instagram. We're very close to a million followers. I won't ever wear it done up. I will always just wear it oversized, but the material feels amazing, amazing quality. You can tell this material is gonna hold the warmth and hold the heat on your body, which is really nice. Arms are super oversized as well. And yeah, I just love this. This is the perfect oversized of the jacket. You've also got pockets here. I am saving the best jacket till last oh my god as soon as i saw this on the website i fell in love with it and knew it needed to be mine this is a faux leather trench coat now this is what you call a staple coat like this is a staple item in your wardrobe and once you've got it you can wear it with pretty much everything i went for mine in like a brownie type color and you've got all the buttons you've got the pockets which actually are pockets which we love to see it's just a super long coat it's got the belt as well so it looks really cool done up but it also looks really cool undone i've personally wore it both ways and i love it just as much with a black polo neck or a black jumper underneath it beautiful the quality is incredible and you've got the collar and it's so structured as well so it just looks so expensive i think a faux trench coat is like a must in fashion this winter and i'm obsessed with it i can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this i love it so much i love the detailing around the sleeves as well you've got little like chocolate tortoise shell buttons you've got these little bits around here really really nice the buttons actually add so much to it they're like a dark brown then you can see like loads of other shades of brown in it when you move it it's very very beautiful i can't believe i said there wasn't going to be an order to this video i've actually smashed this i've managed to pull everything out in some sort of good order next up we've got a basic hoodie and like i was saying basic hoodies are really good underneath blazers or jackets so i wanted to get one i don't actually own a plain white basic hoodie so i just picked one up it's literally called a basic hoodie i got mine in a medium and now i would usually wear small but i want it to be super oversized and to me this looks as though it's going to be like an oversized look on me it's got a hood you've got the drawstrings you've got silver little detailing here and then you've got a big big pocket at the bottom i really like this and then the material inside as well is a nice fluffy material so it's going to keep you very very warm during the winter but again you can wear this out and dress it up or you can just wear it inside like for pjs i do both i wear i literally live in hoodies next up i have got two jumpers i'm not gonna lie these are actually some of the first jumpers that i've got on this season i mean i know it's getting really cold but i tend to just wear like little tops and jackets these are my first jumpers in the wardrobe these are cropped jumpers but they have balloon sleeves and high necks so this is the black version you've got the high neck here and you've got the big oversized sleeves which oh my god are just beautiful it's like a ribbed knitted material and i loved it so much i also had to pick it up in like a charcoaly gray color these jumpers with some flowy trousers are going to be such a simple outfit with a little bag some jewelry i love them but the quality as well is super super thick on these and i love the fact that they have a high neck a high neck on a jumper wins me over 
instantly. If you're looking for some good quality affordable jumpers I would definitely recommend going for these because they're not just your basic long jumper they have a little bit more to it which is nice. I of course did have to pick up some of my basics as well so I picked up this black ribbed racer top. I love wearing these tops I have so many of them. I love just what you can pair them with everything like they're such basic tops but I just love the neckline and the cut of the arms. These are ribbed and it's got like piping all the way around but it's a good good quality like you're not going to be able to see anything through this which I love and I love the edging as well. It's just a very nice basic top that you can literally wear with everything and anything. And then I also picked up the white one but this is a bodysuit version so this is a racer neck bodysuit and again I tend to opt for racer neck in pretty much everything because I love it so much. I also sometimes do much prefer opting for a bodysuit just because it sits more comfortably within the trousers and like it doesn't like rise up which I like. So yeah nice little a basic white bodysuit moment here again it's ribbed got a bit of a thicker piping around the sleeves to add contrast and I love the neckline. And then I decided to get this oversized graphic tee and it's like a grey black wash and it is purple rain. It's got a picture of Prince on a motorbike on it and this is just a really nice oversized t-shirt. I got mine in a medium. I would recommend going a couple of sizes up because this is oversized on me but I kind of want it a little bit more oversized so I would definitely recommend going two sizes. So I want to get a large. It literally fits like a basic t-shirt but I just love this so much. The back is plain, you've got all the detailing on the front but with some faux leather trousers the look. Bags. Now bags have been an obsession of mine for a long time but Misguided really came through with the shoulder bags. This one is a cute little snake skin or croc print whatever you want to call it. Shoulder bag. It's white and it's just got the tiny little handle here. Quite a decent size as well because I have a lot I need to put in my bags. I have to carry my camera around which a lot of other people don't carry around so I always need a bigger bag. It just sits on your shoulders so nicely like the strap is the perfect size. And then I found this bag and I'm seeing this a lot Lot on Instagram. I think this is beautiful. It's like a cross hatched material and then you've got the gold chain detailing so of course you can wear it on your shoulder like this but a lot of the time people are just carrying it around like this. Again this bag is a beautiful size. There is so much room in here. I could fit like my whole DSLR camera in that. Forget my vlog camera. I could fit my main camera in here and it just sits really really nicely on any outfit and plus I wear gold jewellery so to me having gold detailing is like a must almost on a bag but I really really love this. And finally I have got some shoes. I have posted these on Instagram and gotten so many questions about them. So these are my new winter staple. Oh my god I love them so much. They're basically just some knee high boots and they've got the laces going all the way up but obviously you've got the zip on the side so you don't have to undo the laces every time you want to put them on. But they've got a thick sole which I love. They're so comfy and shoes like this dress up any outfit instantly. Basically these are just really sexy shoes and I would really recommend them. I was seeing everybody in these like thick chunky boots and I I couldn't find any that I really really loved and then as soon as I found these and I tried them on with a blazer and a dress in love. That is the end of my misguided haul. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys spotted all of the discount codes as well that you can use throughout this entire video. I'm going to leave links down below to all of the items that I've bought and make sure to go over and follow me on Instagram as well. I'm really trying to get on top of the fashion Insta content game and I'm loving it. Also go over to misguided and drop them a follow over on Instagram as well and other than that I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye!